Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We're looking again at a quiet start to Father's Day, and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. We have, again, some chances of showers and thunderstorms into later on this afternoon and early this evening, but beyond that, so far pretty quiet in the Mid-South area. Unfortunately, as we get into around the rest of this next week, if you have the possibility of outdoor activities, keep that in mind that you may have to, again, move everybody back indoors again to stay safe from the possibility possibility of lightning out there. Again, severe weather, a little iffy at this point, possible by midweek. We'll talk about that in your 7 to 10 day forecast in just a little while. And complete update of your forecast coming up at wrg.com slash weather forecast on the red bar at the bottom of your screen. 90s today, lower 90s, but still possible seeing a few showers and thunderstorms out there. And then for later on, let me see, tonight, mostly clear skies after about midnight and lows dropping back to the lower to mid 70s. Throughout the area today, plenty of sunshine, a few cloud out across the mid-south. The Old Miss campus and the Vaught Hemingway Stadium north end zone. Plenty of sunlight early Sunday morning and also on the Old Miss campus from the Crosby Hall construction cam looking at the student union undergoing some major renovations around the area close to the center part of campus and looking at a lot of parking spaces out there. A little bit of a breeze too. You notice the winds pushing the trees back and forth by just a little bit out there. And from Olive Branch, Mississippi, Sam Reichard, former mayor of Olive Branch, the webcam there on the weather underground system showing mainly clear skies early Sunday morning, but also going to be seeing a few more clouds possible into the course of the rest of the day today. Big weather stories, of course, plenty of sunshine. That means sunburn could be a potential problem out there. Maximum possibility of UV today, 10 plus in some areas. So if you have any outdoor activities, definitely want to make certain that you are bundled up with sunblock out there to make certain you stay safe from anything involving sunburn. Tomorrow, also looking at fairly high estimates of around a 9 out of 10 into around the area around June 20th. So again, as we head into the early portions of the day, Day. That could be a bit of a problem with all that sunshine out there. Heading into the rest of the day today, hopefully nothing in the way of seismic activity, nothing to report in the way of earthquakes over the course of the last 24 hours, according to the United States Geological Survey and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis. Zero when it comes to rainfall. We're behind by an inch and two-thirds for the month of June, well ahead for the year by nine-plus inches as we've got tons of rainfall back around the area of February and March, so we have a very large surplus, but it's been kind of a dry month so far. We could definitely use some more rain to make up for what we lost in the, around the area of the last couple of months. Moon is at waxing gibbous. It is almost full. Should be again turning full into later on tonight as it rises at about 7.35 p.m. Should be just past full as we go into tomorrow night at about 8.27 and moon will set tomorrow morning at 6.07 a.m. Sunrise this morning at 5.46, pretty close to that for tomorrow as well. Sunset at about 8.17 with 14 and a half plus hours of sunlight today. The longest day of the year will be coming up tomorrow as the summer solstice occurs at 5.34. Heading out the door to get the kids onto the lemonade stand to get some area entrepreneurial ship done. Definitely want to add more ice because temperatures will be in the high 80s to lower 90s, but we will be looking at some very warm conditions out there, so definitely want to include the possibility of keeping the kids who are running the lemonade stand cool as we need, again, to cool them off. Make sure they're in the shade or have a large sun umbrella, something to ward off the possibility of getting too overheated because we're going to be looking at some very warm conditions out there throughout the rest of the day. Taking a look at the Gulf of Mexico, a new storm system developing, developing. since the, we produced this graphic, we've gotten up from a 40% chance to a 70% chance. This is more than likely going to be Tropical Storm Danielle by the end of the day and into early tomorrow. We'll be looking at a Hurricane Hunter plane going to investigate. But as of right now, the good news across the rest of the ocean from the Atlantic, from the eastern areas of the Americas, all the way back to around Europe and Africa, no major developing systems at this time. So very good news on that. But once again, if you're traveling down to the Gulf of Mexico, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on what could become Tropical Storm Danielle relatively soon. Temperatures over the course of the rest of the day heading back into the mid to high 80s by early this afternoon. So taking Dad out for lunchtime or a picnic. You may want to keep the umbrella handy because we are going to be looking at the possibility of maybe some more scattered showers and a few thunderstorms not out of the question as we get into later on. And those will be moving up into around the area from the south 
southeast. So expect more of these scattered showers and some rumbles of thunder to be moving up this direction throughout the rest of the morning into this afternoon. Not a great deal of activity, but still possible. Toasty around News Channel 3 at 10, mid to upper 70s to lower 80s, and then getting into early tomorrow morning, biking to work or the summer camps out there, upper 60s to lower 70s. We might be looking at the possibility of maybe some lower 60s showing up into around eastern parts of the viewing area. Not a great deal of cool temperatures, but at this time of the year, we'll take what we can get. Into tomorrow morning, into tomorrow afternoon, we're a reprise of showers and thunderstorms coming our way with temperatures again hitting the mid to upper 80s to lower 90s by early during the afternoon and into the evening hours and then heading into around the rest of the day toward News Channel 3 at 10. Temperatures falling off into the 70s to lower 80s. Happy Father's Day out there to all the dads. Showers and thunderstorms possible developing across parts of the area. Not looking at anything huge but still potential problem out there throughout the day today and throughout the rest of the forecast. Summer begins at 5.34 p.m. That'll be the solstice tomorrow afternoon, the longest day of the year. And from here on out, the days get shorter again until we hit December 21st, just a few days before Christmas and into the holidays. And looking at that chance of showers and thunderstorms continuing in the Mid-South as we get into Tuesday and the course of the rest of this week. So back in the lower 90s for highs, lower to mid 70s for lows, and numbers will continue that direction into the course of the rest of next week. Now heading into the early portions of next week, not this week, but the coming week, it looks like we may see the potential of some more showers and thunderstorms developing here, and also the possibility of seeing some very warm conditions out there. Numbers going back into the mid to upper 90s, so we could be seeing again some very warm numbers out there. Combine that with the humidity, and you've got the heat index, which will be going upwards to cause some more problems there. Got friends, family, or loved ones serving in Iraq. Temperatures may be hot here, but definitely nothing like what it is over in the parts of the Persian Gulf, with temperatures well into the triple digits around Baghdad, down toward Basra and Najaf, Persian Gulf. Seeing numbers again in the triple digits from Kuwait down to around the rest of the Strait of Hormuz and into Saudi Arabia. If anybody has thing in Afghanistan, temperatures are again not quite as warm. Down toward Kandahar, temperatures around 102, lower 90s across much of the rest of the area there. Serving on the Korean Peninsula, temperatures back into the 70s at this point with mostly clear to partly cloudy skies from Seoul down toward around Taegu and Pusan. A few more clouds around the southern parts of the coast down to around Kunsan as well. Got some suggestions you'd like to see on here? Please let me know. Aonic underscore WRAG3. Drop me a line at Austin Onic WRAG on Facebook and also send in those great sunrise pictures. Tag me on Instagram at Aonic WREG3. And definitely don't forget to tune in for the weather forecast available on the radio. Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And you can catch them on the East Arkansas Broadcasters Network. Also don't forget if you haven't tuned in already, available again right now and into the rest of the day. Also at CBS.com, you can check out Sunday morning right after News Channel 3 Daybreak. Hot weather continues again for the next few days, and again, this is definitely a time to stay safe. If you'd like information on how to stay safe from heat injuries, that's available at WRHE.com slash weather, along with webcams and our forecasts and a whole bunch of other information about the tropics. Again, WRHE.com slash weather. Suggestions about what you would like to see on this weather blog, please let me know. We can't do this without you so let me know what exactly it is you would like to see on here and we'll do our best to formulate this so that you keep coming back that's what we want to have people continuing to watch this weather blog for more weather information to do that email me at austin.onic at wrhe.com and get more information about what's going on across the mid-south with weather right here with news channel 3 stay with us for a complete forecast update later tonight on news channel 3 at 5 and 10 and of course we'll have the forecast update as we said at wrhe.com slash weather from downtown Memphis in the News Channel 3 studios, I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. This has been the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us.